everybody, it's Jackie from eslspeaking.org. So today it's all about the top five fun classroom games. Um, this is for English learners or ESL, EFL classes. So the first game is Concentration. This is excellent for um, helping students remember new vocabulary words. So make up some sets of cards. So for example, there's um, maybe if you do animals, there's a picture of an elephant, a tiger, cheetah, and then on the other card, you have the words elephant, tiger, cheetah. Put students into groups of maybe three to five, and each group would get a set of cards. They mix them up and place them face down, um, kind of in an organized fashion on one of the desks. They can do rock, scissors, paper. The first student grabs two cards. They turn them over. Oh, tiger, pitcher, but elephant, word. Not a match, so they put them down in the same spot. They do not mix them up randomly, but in the same spot and then the next student goes. So it's basically just kind of a memory matching game that focuses on vocabulary. All right, next one is the mystery box. So this is a great game for kids who are just learning some very basic words, for example, classroom vocabulary. So make up kind of a fun box with a hole in it and you can cover the hole with some tissue paper or I don't know, just something, whatever, to kind of cover it loosely. Um, one students can reach their hand in and they can feel around and maybe make some guesses about what kind of objects are in there, how they feel, are they hard, soft, long, uh, thin, thick, heavy, light, etc. All right, number three, the A to Z game. So this is a nice activity if you think that students have already covered that topic um, that you're teaching that day quite well. It can help them to activate their prior knowledge about vocabulary words. So let's use the example of animals again. So I put students into groups of two or three. I have them write the alphabet on a piece of paper. So A, B, C, D, all the way to Z. If you want to save time, you could just give a handout that has done this already. And then I say, okay, you have two minutes. Write down as many animals as you can, one per each letter. Um, so for example, maybe they don't know an A1 or they could skip it, then bat, cat, dog, fish, um, monkey, tiger, etc. After the two minutes, um, the team with the most animals is the winner. For the higher level classes, I sometimes say that if another group or if two groups have the same answer, it doesn't count. So this can encourage kind of more creative thinking. All right, number four is odd one out. So this is a simple warm-up activity um, to work on critical thinking skills and also vocabulary. So write down four words on the board. Um, for Here's a very, very simple example. Um, apple, orange, banana, carrot. Um, so I put students into groups of two and they have to say which one is the odd one out and why. Uh, for this one, the obvious thing is a carrot because it's a vegetable and not a fruit. All right, and number five, 20 questions. So this is a classic game that you've probably played before, but it's also quite fun to play in um, English classes. So for lower level students, <laughs> it can be a little bit tricky. I sometimes make it into 10 questions and it's more related to a certain topic. So example, animals. Um, if you want to kind of prevent the one student from choosing platypus or <laughs> T-Rex or just something kind of like the other students may not know or would never guess, you can give flashcards and students have to, whoever holds the secret and is answering the questions um, has to do it with that flashcard. Adults and higher level students um, can usually handle a bit more abstract kind of thinking and I leave it open to them often to choose whatever they want, but I often will get them to tell me what they have chosen or just write it down quickly so I can kind of guide the questions <laughs> along and maybe give some hints or um, if the student answers the question inappropriately, I can correct it for them. All right, so if you like these games, be sure to check out the blog post. I think there are maybe around 30, so there are 25 more and you can find out all the information about these games as well. Uh, please also hit like, subscribe and leave a comment below. Until next time, bye everybody.